not sponsor for a beer. No. <laughs> What's up everyone? Today we are in the Tesla Model Y. Uh, we rented it through Turo and we are actually in Washington DC. Uh, we've been doing a couple days of some sightseeing and... Getting hurt? And I did get hurt. I, uh, <laughs> some of you know that I, I had that bad motorcycle accident a few years ago and I slipped on ice while we were out here and something popped and my knee is very swollen and it's not good. So I'll go to the doctor when I get home, but for now, we'll just have fun. So we are gonna do a zero to 60 time. I'm not sure if we'll get that done tonight or maybe we'll do that tomorrow uh, just before we leave, but we wanna get her reaction. Um, so the, the Model Y does a zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. And I think that will be fun for something for Crystal to experience because she's never really experienced anything like that so should be fun we'll see how it goes yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's got side cameras both sides, but when you signal it actually shows you the street right beside you So if there's anyone coming up on you or you want to make sure you've got enough space You can see if you've got clearance next to you if they're in a blind spot or if you just don't have the time to take a really good look, you can glance backwards, make sure you're clear. In 500 feet, turn right to stay on Smith Boulevard. And turn right here. Mm -hmm. um, and then you've got that additional view of that camera to show you that you've got plenty of space. It's pretty cool. So you guys can kind of see the top of the Washington Monument right there. And I apologize for the mount. You guys are just going to see that on the, the edge of the video because it's a different mount than what I normally use. But I figure it's not the end of the world. Yes, we are getting ready to do the zero to sixty. Okay, right there. Give us a little space. Okay, you ready? Yep. Oh. <laughs> like, and that's 60. <laughs> I threw me back in my chair. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> I did ask if you were ready. <laughs> you didn't tell me and throw me in my chair. So that was fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wish that I had a draggy the drag you could show stats on the screen at the same time so it would show how fast it would actually be counting it out like it would do the 60 foot time uh, the zero to 60 eighth mile quarter mile if you carry it out for that long it puts it all on the screen and it's all gps so the draggy would be really cool but it was more just uh to knock the wind out of me i guess yeah <laughs> just for fun and if you guys ever haven't driven a Tesla or driven something that does a 0-60 to 60 that quickly, you should definitely give it a try because uh, it's a very different experience. Than a normal car going 0-60? to 60. Well, just any, no any like vehicle going 0-60, to 60, but... Uh, build up? Just yeah, there's no, there's no lag with the Tesla That's because it's electric. Yeah. You're, not, you're not building power. You have all of it right now, which is really cool. Yeah, it was weird. Not what I expected. I did touch on a little bit yesterday or last night uh, was the cameras so it does have the cameras that show both sides 
uh, for when you're, you're using your turn signals, but you can actually watch them all the time. And the backup camera, you can also use that just driving along. So it actually makes for a pretty cool safety feature that you can just use those to see what's behind you and what's beside you if you have something obstructing your view. A lot of features you can access through this little car icon. Uh, so you can get into, you know, what your pedals and steering, your stopping modes, uh, which I've had it on hold this whole time, which it actually uh, basically breaks for you. It's kind of nice. Uh, when you let off the gas, it's already starting to break for you. Uh, also, that uh, maximizes the regenerative braking, um, so you get some more power coming back to the battery just because it's slowing you down. Um, I did have the steering mode on comfort the whole time. I didn't try sport because we were just kind of cruising around town. Uh, but on the acceleration, I had it on sport the whole time. I actually haven't even tried chill and probably won't because I have zero interest in just putting around. I think that this is a incredibly good looking car, but probably one of my favorite features is this little carbon fiber lip that they've got back here, just a little duck bill spoiler. I think that's probably one of the coolest features on the vehicle as far as cosmetically. I also do like, kind of hard to see through the wheel there, but it's got some massive calipers on it, massive brakes. Uh, something that I think I would do, so I'll try not to cast a shadow there, but if you see the 255, 35, 21 on the front, and I don't know if the picture's gonna do it much justice, but you can see that it's got a bit of a stretch on that tire. So I would probably run a 275 up front, 265 or 275. I would probably rather run the 275, but I don't know what would actually fit. I would assume based on the stretch on that, a 275 would fit just fine. And same on the rear. So on the rear, you guys can see the stretch there as well. And there, I think a 275 back there. I'll walk back there in just a second, but being on a crutch is not really helping me record for you guys. Uh, but I think there are 275 back there, and you could easily do a 295 or maybe even a 305 on that wheel back there. As you can see that, well, maybe you can't see it, but that, but that is a 275, 35, 21 on the rear. Um, you can see someone has curved these wheels a couple times, unfortunately. Uh, but if you can see through the, through the wheel there, another fixed, massive fixed caliper on the rear. So this thing has a ton of braking power, which is pretty awesome. Back to the infotainment here. If you click on that vehicle again, that little vehicle icon, uh, you can control basically everything from this screen here. So you've got your lights, you've got uh, mirror controls here, you've got window locks, the glove box, so that's on. That's actually locked as well, which is actually pretty cool. Makes it nice and safe. You can have something in there that maybe you have a firearm or something in your glove box. You can keep it safe in there. Uh, the controls for your wipers are all here, which is really cool. Uh, so you can select auto and it just kind of does its own thing, uh, but it's also got four different speeds here, which I felt like auto was a bit too extreme when it was raining uh, what, yesterday and I think the day before. Um, but if you do, do it on uh, some of the other levels there, I felt like it was much more acceptable. The speed was not quite as crazy there. Uh, you can record some stuff. Um, it's got the sentry mode, so when you're away from the vehicle, it's recording. If anyone's close to your vehicle, or if anyone bumps your vehicle, it actually records it. So that's also a really nice feature. If anyone, <coughs> if anyone were to hit you in a parking lot, you would actually have video of that, which is really nice. Something else you can control from the infotainment screen. Uh, so you can actually open your, there we go. You can open your trunk. You can open the frunk, um, which I will now show you guys how much cargo space this thing actually had. So with the trunk open here, you can see with our suitcases in here, you still have a ton of space. We actually had um, five total people in here for the past, well, uh, a couple days ago. They went home earlier than we did. 
but we were able to between this the, between the rear trunk and the the frunk we we're able to fit everyone's luggage in here which was really nice there's a ton of space there's a bunch of space under in this compartment underneath which is really nice to have also and i'll get up front and show you guys the frunk space as well So you saw that we popped it from the inside and we just come up and lift and you've got even more cargo space up here. Well guys, I am back home and I've been to the doctor now and it turns out I broke my leg. So that's fun. Broke my leg and went sightseeing because that's normal. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the kind of short review of the Tesla. Uh, that thing was a lot of fun to drive. Uh, as far as the sound system goes, uh, I, if you guys are into sound systems, uh, for a stock stereo, like that was really impressive. It had, I think it's a 14 speaker sound system and it's got two amplifiers and it's got a separate sub. So it, it sounds really good. Uh, I was, able to play around with a little bit my wife is not into stereos so she didn't really like it but I was able to play around with it a little bit and I actually really liked it so hopefully you guys liked watching the video hopefully you guys hit that like button hit the subscribe button we will see you guys hopefully soon with my leg it may be a minute before I post some more stuff but I'm gonna get to it as soon as possible